The conductivity of an electrolyte solution is a measure of its ability to conduct electricity. The SI unit of conductivity is Siemens per meter. Conductivity measurements are used routinely in many industrial and environmental applications as a fast, inexpensive and reliable way of measuring the ionic content in a solution. For example, the measurement of product conductivity is a typical way to monitor and continuously trend the performance of water purification systems. In many cases, conductivity is linked directly to the total dissolved solids. High-quality deionized water has a conductivity of about 5.5 by 1 quarter second per meter, typical drinking water in the range of 5 to 50 milliseconds per meter, while seawater about 5 seconds per meter. Conductivity is traditionally determined by measuring the AC resistance of the solution between two electrodes. Dilute solutions follow Kohlrausch's laws of concentration dependence and additivity of ionic contributions. Lars Onsager gave a theoretical explanation of Kohlrausch's law by extending de Bier euro h one quarter CKEL theory. Units The SI unit of conductivity is SM and, unless otherwise qualified, it refers to 25 AA degree Celsius. Often encountered in industry is the traditional unit of I one quarter second per centimeter 106 I one quarter second per centimeter equals 103 milliseconds per centimeter equals one second per centimeter. The numbers in I one quarter second per centimeter are higher than those in I one quarter second per meter by a factor of 100. Occasionally, a unit of EC is found on scales of instruments. One EC equals one I one quarter second per centimeter. Sometimes encountered is a so-called mo, 1 mo m equals 1 second per meter. Historically, mohs antiedate Siemens by many decades. Good vacuum tube testers, for instance, gave transconductance readings in micromohs. The commonly used standard cell has a width of 1 cm, and thus for very pure water in equilibrium where there would have a resistance of about 106 ohm, known as a megohm, occasionally spelled as megaohm. Ultra pure water could achieve 18 megohms or more. Thus, in the past, megohm cm was used, sometimes abbreviated to megohm. Sometimes, a conductivity is given just in micro siemens. While this is an error, it can often be assumed to be equal to the traditional I one quarter second per centimeter. The conversion of conductivity to the total dissolved solids depends on the chemical composition of the sample and can vary between 0.54 and 0.96. Typically, the conversion is done assuming that the solid is sodium chloride, that is, 1 I 1 quarter second per centimeter is an equivalent to about 0.64 mg of NaCl per kg of water. Molar conductivity has the SI unit SM2 molar 1. Older publications use the unit IV 1 cm 2 molar 1. Measurement The electrical conductivity of a solution of an electrolyte is measured by determining the resistance of the solution between two flat or cylindrical electrodes separated by a fixed distance. An alternating voltage is used in order to avoid electrolyses. The resistance is measured by a conductivity meter. Typical frequencies used are in the range 1 euro 3 kHz. The dependence on the frequency is usually small, but may become appreciable at very high frequencies, an effect known as the de Bier Hagen effect. A wide variety of instrumentation is commercially available. There are two types of cell, the classical type with flat or cylindrical electrodes and a second type based on induction. Many commercial systems offer automatic temperature correction. Tables of reference conductivities are available for many common solutions. Definitions Resistance, R, is proportional to the distance, L, between the electrodes and is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area of the sample, A writing I for the specific resistance. In practice, the conductivity cell is calibrated by using solutions of known specific resistance, I, so the quantities L and A need not be known precisely. If the resistance of the calibration solution is R, a cell constant, C, is derived. The specific conductance, I is the reciprocal of the specific resistance. Conductivity is also temperature dependent. Sometimes the ratio of L and A is called as the cell constant, denoted as G, 
and conductance is denoted as G. Then the specific conductance I, can be more conveniently written as Theory, the specific conductance of a solution containing one electrolyte depends on the concentration of the electrolyte. Therefore it is convenient to divide the specific conductance by concentration. This quotient is termed molar conductivity, is denoted by I'm. Strong electrolytes, strong electrolytes are believed to dissociate completely in solution. The conductivity of a solution of a strong electrolyte at low concentration follows Kohlrausch's law. Where is known as the limiting molar conductivity, K is an empirical constant and C is the electrolyte concentration. In effect, the observed conductivity of a strong electrolyte becomes directly proportional to concentration, at sufficiently low concentrations that is when. As the concentration is increased however, the conductivity no longer rises in proportion. Moreover, Kohlrausch also found that the limiting conductivity of anions and cations are additive, the conductivity of a solution of a salt is equal to the sum of conductivity contributions from the cation and anion. Where, under the number of moles of cations and anions, respectively, which are created from the dissociation of one mole of the dissolved electrolyte and are the limiting molar conductivities of the individual ions. The following table gives values for the limiting molar conductivities for selected ions. An interpretation of these results was based on the theory of Debye and Ha 1 quarter CKEL, where A and B are constants that depend only on known quantities such as temperature, the charges on the ions and the dielectric constant and viscosity of the solvent. As the name suggests, this is an extension of the Debye Euro Ha 1 quarter CKEL theory, due to Wonsager. It is very successful for solutions at low concentration. Weak electrolytes A weak electrolyte is one that is never fully dissociated. In this case, there is no limit of dilution below which the relationship between conductivity and concentration becomes linear. Instead, the solution becomes ever more fully dissociated at weaker concentrations and for low concentrations of well-behaved weak electrolytes, the degree of dissociation of the weak electrolyte becomes proportional to the inverse square root of the concentration. Typical weak electrolytes are weak acids and weak bases. The concentration of ions in a solution of a weak electrolyte is less than the concentration of the electrolyte itself. For acids and bases the concentrations can be calculated when the value, s, of the acid dissociation constant. S, is, R, known. For a monoprotic acid, HA, obeying the inverse square root law, with a dissociation constant car, an explicit expression for the conductivity as a function of concentration, C, known as Ostwald's dilution law, can be obtained. Higher concentrations, both Kohlrausch's law and the Debye one quarter CKEL Onsager equation break down as the concentration of the electrolyte increases above a certain value. The reason for this is that as concentration increases the average distance between cation and anion decreases, so that there is more interionic interaction. Whether this constitutes ion association is a moot point. However, it has often been assumed that cation and anion interact to form an ion pair. Thus the electrolyte is treated as if it were like a weak acid and a constant, K, can be derived for the equilibrium, A plus plus B A plus B. K equals, A plus, B slash, A plus B. Davis describes the results of such calculations in great detail, but states that K should not necessarily be thought of as a true equilibrium constant, rather, the inclusion of an ion association term is useful in extending the range of good agreement between theory and experimental conductivity data. Various attempts have been made to extend Onsager's treatment to more concentrated solutions. The existence of a so-called conductance minimum has proved to be a controversial subject as regards interpretation. Foss and Krauss suggested that it is caused by the formation of ion triplets, and this suggestion has received some support recently. Conductivity versus temperature, generally the conductivity of a solution increases with temperature, as the mobility of the ions increases. For comparison purposes reference values are reported at an agreed temperature, usually 298 kelvins, although occasionally 20 C is used. It is often necessary to take readings from a sample at some other temperature, 
where it would be inconvenient to wait for the sample to heat or cool. So-called compensated measurements are made at a convenient temperature but the value reported is a calculated value of the expected value of conductivity of the solution, as if it had been measured at the reference temperature, although occasionally 20 Celsius is used. Basic compensation is normally done by assuming a linear increase of conductivity versus temperature of typically 2% per degree. Although generally satisfactory for room temperatures, and for purely comparative measurements, the further the measurement temperature is from the reference temperature, the less accurate such simply compensated measurements become. More sophisticated instruments allow programmable compensation functions, which can be specific to the ion species being measured, and which may include additional non-linear terms. Solvent isotopic effect The change in conductivity due to isotopic effect for deuterated electrolytes is sizable. Applications Notwithstanding the difficulty of theoretical interpretation, measured conductivity is a good indicator of the presence or absence of conductive ions in solution, and measurements are used extensively in many industries. For example, conductivity measurements are used to monitor quality in public water supplies, in hospitals, in boiler water and industries which depend on water quality such as brewing. This type of measurement is not ion-specific. It can sometimes be used to determine the amount of total dissolved solids if the composition of the solution and its conductivity behavior are known. It should be noted that conductivity measurements made to determine water purity will not respond to non-conductive contaminants, therefore additional purity tests may be required depending on application. Sometimes, conductivity measurements are linked with other methods to increase the sensitivity of detection of specific types of ions. For example, in the boiler water technology, the boiler blowdown is continuously monitored for cation conductivity, which is the conductivity of the water after it has been passed through a cation exchange resin. This is a sensitive method of monitoring anion impurities in the boiler water in the presence of excess cations. The sensitivity of this method relies on the high mobility of H in comparison with the mobility of other cations or anions. Conductivity detectors are commonly used with ion chromatography. See also, de Bayer-Euro-Falcon-Hagen effect, Wien effect, Svantianias, Alfred Werner, coordination chemistry, conductometric titration, methods to determine the equivalence point, references.